What's up, my pylons? I'm Gamer, Gamer Pile, and welcome back to my RimWorld tutorial and playthrough. I am sitting here with a glass of Arnold Palmer mixed with some fresh strawberries and blueberries, and let me tell you, it is magnifique. All right. Last time, if you missed last episode, episode 9, I gotta tell you something. You gotta go back and watch that one in order to understand what's going on here. We had a wedding. We had a caravan. We were attacked by rabid bunnies, completely una unawares and unprepared. And then we got to this place where we were exploring some ruins on our way to trying to get uh, a nice neuro trainer. And suddenly there are one, two, three strikes, you're out. I mean, three bad guys, you know, one or the other. And we have to prepare, which is why this is not playing yet. I didn't want to start something without being able to devote my full attention to it. Well, golly, let's get started. All right, so as you can see, I've, I've started to look at some defenses for this one. I've got leaks here. She's going to go back over to this rock and take some cover and use her right, rifle to try and shoot at a <laughs> comba. And uh, newbie here, he's got a shotgun, so he's going to stay relatively close because, as you can see, it's not a very well-ranged weapon. The enemies all have short bows, which have a little bit more range than the shotguns do. You know what? I believe he actually has a right... Uh... No, he doesn't. See, I thought that he had a revolver, but I guess I forgot to have him pick it up. So yeah, he's going to be probably out of the fight. i got to bring him in closer in order to help with that. And Tiubo is going to uh, stand right here behind this tree and use her charge rifle, charge lance, and try. We're going to try and take this one out first, and then this one's probably going to make his way over, Billa Gayar. And uh, the good news is, though, that good old black parrot up here is just going to stay up here in the corner because it's all deep water. There is nothing else here. There is no way for black to get past. So we're going to be completely safe as long as we don't go right about, let's see, if he made it all the way, he might be able, yeah, he'll be able to go through here and be in the, in the shallow water. So as long as we stay just about here, there's no way he'll be able to attack us. He'll probably spend most of his time up here, though, without coming down here, because, unless we, you know, maybe if we get closer. And if we need to, we can always stand here and take pot shots at him that he can't attack us. But... First things first. Oh boy, let's let's hope this works. Oh yes, and I forgot to say, I did also make my animals have to go all the way back here. Let's see, animals, area one. That way they don't get shot by this, this bow man. I guess they call those archers these days? Sure, we'll go with it. Okay, well, let's get started. All right, oh, she's running away. Oh no, she's taking cover. Wait, what happened? <gasps> oh no. I've never seen that before. That must be what this green bar is. So I moved them. I moved Newbie up here to the green. And now he's left. So I have to hope that I can take this on. It shouldn't be that hard. But son of a gun, I didn't know that was going to happen. Well, to you, Bo. Let's bring you up here where she can't shoot you. Leaks will be fine up there. And we'll go on. Uh. Oh, one shot! Well, I've never seen that happen before. Alright, well, it's unfortunate that I can't take her gear. But that's alright. Who else we got over here? Oh yeah, here comes Brilla. So let's take some better cover. Now that I have a little bit of time. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring you guys down here and prepare for Brilla to get over here. Billa. Billa. We'll have time to go over here too. Alright, yeah, you can probably stay together. I don't think there's gonna be a problem here. Oh man, I can't believe that I sent newbie off the off the map. He's got a bad back and a wooden foot. Oh, nice! So he is downed, but not dead. So I can actually strip him 
Uh, they're not great, but it's always good to have a little bit of extra, um, extra stuff around. What are you doing? No, you're not smoking a joint. Uh, let's go over to... We need a sign. We're going to do no drugs, because that's better. And then I'm going to have you uh, harvest the blueberries. Let me find one of these here. Harvest the heel root. And... You're going to strip him. By stripping him, I'll be able to get his clothes. I can, I could do that here, but if you look close, you'll see that it is tainted because it was worn by a dead person. Um, it doesn't show up there, apparently. Oh, here it is. It, I, you can see that in the second to bottom layer, or uh, line, tainted from being worn by a corpse. That, I, that's also what this T means here. Uh, so I don't want to use that. So I'm just going to keep him on or no sense at all in doing that. A fire. Oh, we have a thunderstorm still over here. Yeah, we had a big old thunderstorm. It burned some area over here, a whole bunch of it. Uh, some of it down here, some of it up inside my fort. There was one over on... This side, there was one right here next to my field of cotton. Yeah, it was bad news. Let's go back over here now. I'm gonna harvest that. Oh, he's up. Look at that. He's moving. Well, now that he's now that he's up, I can just go ahead and do that. No, and now he's down again. All right. <laughs> Let's pick up these things here. That'll be good. That way they're not going to spoil. I'll have you come over here. And... No, you don't have anywhere to carry it. Of course not. All right, so they're going to go through and they're going to take care of all of this. Let's make sure this fire, it has now cleared up, so we got to get Kazni over here quick. And this is why they don't have more than one or two settlements at a time in the game. Fitz is pregnant. Yay! I gonna have more foxes. Alright, we'll go over here. Oh, I need a stockpile. I could get some limestone. Let's deconstruct this. Granite. The problem is, I just have nothing to carry stuff. I needed more animals. I wonder if I could tame any of these guys. I'm going to do that. Who has the highest animal score? Animals 2. Animals 1. So Tubo does. No usable food. That's baloney. I know for a fact that there's some stuff right there. Alright, so let's try this. I'll make a stockpile zone. I'll put it right over this. And maybe now she can. No usable food. That kind of food do you think I would... I think they need. Berries should be sufficient for them. I got this Ibex meat over here, too. You know what? Let's try this. I'm going to haul all stuff and see if that gets me what I need. <laughs> she can only take one thing at a time because she's got so much stuff on her. So what I can do is I can go to this gear and I can make her put down the 35 steel, for example. And she should be able to come back over here and haul some more things. But Leeks is already coming over there. Oh, now she can tame. Okay, so let's try that. Oh, 
a play. Thank you. And I could take this wood, I could deconstruct the wall and take the wood from it. I thought you were going to do this. Let's see what happens. Failed. Oh, there's only a 15% chance. I don't know that I want to risk giving up all my food. So I think we're going to go ahead and just... Oh, why are you bringing the body over here? You didn't? Where'd you put it? Oh, it's still there, just hidden. All right, let's see if we can... Reform Caravan. I'm not taking Billa. No thanks. Okay, I need the pemmican. I need the berries. I need the medicine. We'll take the joint. The steel's important. I don't need that. I don't need that. I'll take the beer. I can at least sell them, even if I don't take them. And I can take this awful table. I might be able to sell that also. Oh, plasteel knife. That's good. This is the only other thing that I can carry, is this, is this uh, table. All these ones that are redded out, that means that it'll make it too heavy. The most mass I can take is 70, and I have 59 right now. So I'll take the table, and then I'm going to choose a route. We're going to continue on to here. Oh, boy. We'll see what happens. Choose route. Accept. And then, now here's one thing I can do. Because they're right next to each other on the tile, even though they're currently two separate caravans. I can click merge, select which caravans should be merged. Let's do both. I'll use shift to do that. And then I can merge them. And now they are one caravan. And I can look here and see items. And all of the items have shown up, including all that meat that we had before. And these three are grouped together on the map at the top. So that's how I know that they are, they are now in one caravan. They'll continue on a half a day. All of my meals are now gone. I have some pemmican, though. So this has actually ended up working out better than I thought it was going to. By, by stopping and taking the pemmican of those pirates or raiders or whatever they were, uh, I now have more food. And this food is going to be able to feed me as I make a way there, my way there. So that actually ended up being a very good thing. How'd this fire look? Fire's out. That's good. I'd completely forgotten about it. So now we're back to this. Let's go ahead and uh, make grow a number one priority here. Because, oh, no, it's not grow, that's plant cut. Uh, do, 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 work. Plant cut. And we can go ahead through. I shouldn't even need to haul it back because I'm pretty sure the hauler bot's going to do that for me. You know, I don't know why the hauler bot hasn't taken this yet, though. I'm going to ask him to do that next. See if I can guide him to that. Ooh. Where are you? Alright, let's go... How are we going to do this? Let's go down. Down, down, to down, down, down. Down, right, left, 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 down, 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 right there. Will you take the body? No? Try again? Oh, you know what might be the problem? This might be set just for, yeah, rotten, that's why. So we want it, we had to set it to fresh as well, otherwise it won't carry the body until it starts rotting. So where is my hauler bot? There he is. Reset it by doing this. Okay. And that's good because, even, well, you can look here in his needs. It says, uh, it doesn't say, well, so he hasn't even seen the body yet. This is great. Uh, that means that he doesn't have a negative thought. Over here, when we land, you'll see that because they all saw the bodies of the uh, raiders who were there, they have a negative thought, and that gives them a little minus so this is not Bits' is master, so let's go ahead and change that. So we're going to find Bits. We're going to change him to Kazni. They're bonded, 
when they're not bonded, when they're not the master of the animal they're bonded with, they get a they get another minus. So we're gonna take care of that. And boom, now it's gone. And he's a little bit happier. We only got a few more here. I'm gonna forbid the growing of this though. I don't know that I want him. Well, yeah, I guess you can. Well, no. I'm trying to decide whether I want to grow more cotton. I think we should be fine because it's only the 5th of September. But I'm afraid that I'm going to spend all this time planting it and then it's going to get too cold and they're all going to die. But I think I'm going to take that chance. And I'm going to do this. Now I have to prioritize, or I have to manually select it for him, so that I know he sticks with it. And I'm keeping an eye on his, on how tired he gets as well. Go through. So he's down to 24. I'm also keeping an eye on the time. I am going to have you do just two more rows here. No, not pick up on it. Well, I have too many things queued to clear that out, so I'm just going to have to... He's just going to be carrying some cotton. I'll have him put it down in his bedroom before he goes to bed. And he should actually... It should be hauled by the hauler bot. It's really not the end of the world. I could even have him drop it right now, really, if I wanted to, but he's outside, and it deteriorates when it's outside, so... Yeah, look at that Hollerbot go. This is the best investment. I can't believe I have a Hollerbot so early. I can't believe I have Marine Armor so early. You can do the rest of that tomorrow. I'll let you. Okay, before he goes to bed, I'm just going to click the drop button. It'll drop on the floor, and that Hollerbot will get it later. We are right outside the map, but because it was midnight, or because it is midnight, they're not going to go in. We are about as close as we could possibly get without actually being there. Oh, well. Okay, never mind. So we are actually at the location. So let's check out what's going on here. Whoa, look at these caves. These are cool. All right, so I've got a couple of couple of areas here that could be explored. Oh, nice. A telescope. A lot of meat here. But I don't know that I'll be able to carry all of it because I have all that meat already. I'm going to go ahead, because uh, I don't know if there are any bad guys here. Let's check to see how happy we all are. We need to rest. So I don't have any bed rolls yet. I can make some now that I have cotton at home. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go over here to furniture, and I'm gonna, just going to put a sleeping spot. I guess I can't put it that close to the edge of the map. I guess I shouldn't even want to. So I'm going to put a sleeping spot there. And I'm going to put a double sleeping spot here because I know that Tiubo, Tiubo and Nubi are... Okay, so we will set the owner, Nubi, Tiubo. We will set the owner of this one to Leaks. And they should be fine. Now what I'm going to do here, again, the first thing we need to do before we press play is to assign an area for our animals. We don't want those animals just wandering anywhere. They will get attacked by any bad guys, and we just don't want it. The only thing I'm going to do, though, he's not quite the tiredest yet, so I'm going to bring him over here and see what I can see. Sleepy, sleepy. Get our animals into area one. And good. Let's bring you over. I'm going to claim this door. That'll allow me to go through it. Oh, and there's nobody here. Great. Oh, good. There's the Neuro Trainer. So I could actually leave right now if I wanted to. But I wonder if there's any actual beds inside that will make them a lot happier. Uh, first thing I'm going to have him do is pick up the Neuro Trainer. Because that's why I'm here after all. And then he dropped all this stuff. So let's figure out why. I'm going to pick up all the berries. We're going to pick up all the rice. That way these little bunnies don't get it. We've had bad luck with bunnies over here today. This is kind of cool little fort looking area. What do we got over here? Limestone. Double bed. We could just finish that double bed. 
we've got this telescope which I'm gonna make, I'm definitely going to be taking this telescope back with me. That gives me one more activity that my, uh, my that my pawns can use outside. It kind of doesn't look like there's anyone here. I hope. Let's find out what's through this door. Nothing! <laughs> A wall. Very creative, nice deception over there. Well done. Ooh, look at all this! We got roofed. Nothing is roofed. So we're going to build roofs over all this, and we're going to claim it all and see what we can take back with us. We will not be able to take all of it with us. Let's build this roof. Oh, hold on. Do we even need to? We've got steel. A tube television, of course, now that I just bought one. A couple of sculptures. Oh, that's a good sculpture. 90... All right. That's going to be worth... Uh... A lot if I can take it with me. Let's claim this door. And that's the. Oh, and a couple of coolers. Deep refrigerators. Oh, nice. I like the deep refrigerators. I can't get to this door yet, but it looks like it just kind of goes into that other wall. So here's what ends up happening this is. This all is here as part of the uh, Real Ruins mod. This is the only thing that actually was the result of this mission. This is a game-generated area. But this here came from that mod, which is why it looks a little bit more organic. It's not just a box. It's got stuff in it. Uh, that mod, in case you missed it in my first episode, that mod actually takes a snapshot of your bases. And when it uploads it, as a different player, I can go around and I can say, okay, download 1,000 random snapshots, and then it populates the map with those snapshots. You can easily, by going into the mods, uh, let's see, doo -doo -doo, options, mod settings, I can go over here and I can find real ruins, and I can choose how many ruins there are. I can uh, show, I can choose all of these different options, including how much deterioration there is. Uh, and so that's pretty awesome. Hostile units amount. Um, I'm surprised that there aren't any here, but maybe because it's such an early part of the game. And all of that is uh, pretty neat. Let's un unforbid all this stuff. Let's go ahead and not do that, apparently. Claim all that. Claim all that. Claim that. Claim that. I think that's it. Oh, I guess I should claim these. Claim, claim, claim. They will come and use this for entertainment now that I've claimed it. Uh, unforbid. That's already been claimed. All right, I think we're all set. And we may... We may, we may be here for a minute. I have 2.9 days until I leave. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have them set up that stove in here where it's roofed and get to work on making the taking the meat and making them into simple meals. Uh, then I'm going to work on, on installing some of these things, maybe make a couple of chairs. I may have put everything over here since it's a nice big room. I'm going to finish this bed. I might build a couple other beds, and then we can stay here for and fairly happily for a little while. So I think we're going to work on that. But first, let's check out what's going on over here. We almost have all of our cotton put away. Looks like there are no bad guys on the other place. They're going to sleep. But it's, I know it's on the ground, but it's better than nothing. I don't see any... I don't. See, yeah, there'd be a little icon here of like a wolf head. I don't see any predators, just this mega sloth and a couple of rodents. I just want to make sure that I rem that I did remember to roof both sides good. So this is going to be roofed also. I don't need that roofed. That's already roofed. All right, good. So let's just wait now until Kazni wakes up. Looks like I'm going to need a few more of these for my other... For my other little guys. Hi, guys. Everything is going out. 
plenty of wood in here. He's going to have to eat, and then he's going to have to fix this. And I really should take this offline, because I don't need both of these. And actually, it's so cold out right now. Eight degrees out. Let's replace this. And then we'll flick the switch. Flick the switch. That will turn them off, and that'll save some electricity. I really do have to get some batteries built. Newbie's up. All right, newbie, before you go into there, what are you doing? Building a roof. Before you go into there, let's get this stove out and the butcher table while we're waiting. We're gonna install the stove here. We're gonna install the butcher table here. No, let's do it over here. I'll put it right there. I can build a wall and a door right there without a problem. We'll break these down and I can build some some a wall right here and a door. I'm doing that because technically this is considered outdoors even though it's all obviously a cave. For whatever reason, since it's not closed off right there, the game considers it to be outdoors still. Now, I don't want... I don't have any components anyway, so that doesn't matter. Okay, so let's, before you start building that roof, let's have you build this here. You're going to flip my switches, and then you're going to come over here and do the rest of the seating. Hey, that would be pretty awesome if I could get a little bit more cotton in here before the end. Area revealed. I had better go check that out. Sometimes there are bad guys in areas that are revealed off screen. I have a feeling it's just that little room that was on the left. Yep, but it's empty, so that's fine. Oh, this would be a really good place for this then. Why don't I do that? Because it's already walled off, so do that. Oh man, leeks. Leeks, you need to eat. What you got? Do you have anything in your deer? Pemmican. So oh, yeah, you got plenty. You'll be able to eat when you wake up. You're all set. Newbie's all set. Tiubo was carrying some stuff too. Oh no, all she well she has some berries. Okay. Harvest the berries. Harvest the heel root. Awesome. And then he should be starting to build up the uh, the ceilings. Let's clean that. But we're going to deconstruct it. We don't need that there. All right, where are you going? We would rather you build the wall or the ceiling, the roof, whatever we call those. We don't need any of these. Oh, the bed. Shoot. We'll unforbid those. Let's go ahead and create a stockpile inside. Right here. We'll expand it over there. It's going to have everything but not rotten stuff. But it's going to have just about anything else we want. Animal corpses. We'll be fine. Oh, he wants, he wants to play that stuff. Okay. So they all have stuff to do. Butcher table. We're going to cook forever. Simple meals. Let's get our animals in here, too. I'm going to make an... Well, we'll just do the school one, because I'm obviously not going to need a school right now. Uh, we'll do all of inside. Uh, get our animals in here so we can unpack them. Uranium. Oh, I got six little uraniums there. Here they come. All right, we're getting our hay grass going.
Mm. All right, so we're, we're going to do this too. I'm going to make... That can go there. That can go. No, we can't do that there. Right, right, right. I want to, I need power over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably put in, I could even do that. You know what? Well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to do a wind turbine, my very first wind turbine. So if I can turn it this way and uh, the areas that are white need to be Make sure I don't have any bad roofs there. The areas that are white need to be uh, flattened. They can't have walls or trees or anything like that. We'll cut that out. And we will... How far does that go? Just these three. So we'll mine those out. And then this is going to actually be able to work fine. We'll then take some... We'll take some power conduits and we'll link them over a little bit into our wall here. And this should be able to make this go. But the problem is I'm going to need some batteries. So I will be taking uh, some of the space that I will have over here, and that'll be room for the batteries. In fact, I'll do that right now. I'll do the plan. Two batteries will probably be sufficient for just these two coolers, and I'll probably put in a couple of lights. And that should be sufficient. Eh, maybe I'll even do a third. I could even do a third if I wanted to. Yeah, let's do a third. Oh, that'll be perfect. Right, of course, you can't build it yet because we don't have enough steel on hand, but... Alright, what are we all doing here? Going for a walk. Let's build a roof, please. Leaks is playing. Okay, good. Everybody's inside. Let's drop. Oh, it looks like that meat spoiled. That's too bad. I don't think that we had a roof built over there either. Because it was an uh, unrevealed area, so I couldn't build a roof. So now I have to set it to build a roof. If it's outside, it has a penalty to its work speed. We are going to... Oh, I can't uninstall this, huh? Then we're just going to go ahead and deconstruct them. I might be able to get some steel and components out of those. And then we're going to build some limestone chairs to sit in. We'll do stools. They need less. Limestone stools. We're going to let leaks clean up a little bit. See what Kazni is doing over here. One cool thing about this, it, this game in general, is that as you move east or west, the time zone does change. Now we're lined up pretty well north to south, so it's 18, 1900 here and 1900 here. But they do have it based on where the sun is and where its location is east or west. That's a pretty cool little dynamic thing for me. So yep, we got some components and steel. And other than that, woodcutter's table, plain leather, light leather. There isn't a whole lot here. That's too bad. Alright, well my animals then can just go ahead back to home, I guess. I will call it unrestricted. There are no... There's there's nothing here that can hurt them. So. An excellent stool. We might bring that one home with us. Uh, probably not. I do want this limestone large sculpture. Well, we're going to be hurting here for food pretty soon. What I am going to do is I'm going to hunt this guy. He's going to give us a lot of meat. And I may hunt the hakun and, and the hare as well. Does anyone want some hassan pfeffer soup? Yeah, it will be very good.
Ich möchte ein Hassen Pfeffer Soup, bitte. I don't know how to say soup in German. That was like German English. I don't think that's a word. So this is I'm a little bit worried that this is newbie that's hunting this sloth. Because he has a shotgun, which means he needs to get pretty close. But he seems to be... Uh-oh. Okay. They will uh, exact revenge. Oh, I, just as I was saying it. Yeah, so he's not going to die for six hours. I could hide inside my house if I needed to, but... Uh oh <laughs> uh, Let's activate Tiubo here to come help out. Okay. Well, we did it. So let's go home and let's go ahead and finish that off. And then hopefully he'll actually haul it and then someone can go and butcher it. And then we can cook it. I'm going to do both cook for simple meals and a single simple mo simple meal as do forever. We may end up running out of enough materials to make four of them but still have enough to make one or two. So if I have it, if I have both set here, when this is finished or can't be completed, they automatically go down to the next bill. And, and that'll be good for there. Now on this, Butcher Creature set to forever, so that's great. Oh yeah, and they're sleeping out here. Let's get rid of that. Come on back, kids. We're going to do better, better beds for you. We'll give, we'll put one in here. And we'll put one in here. This one is for leaks. This one is for newbie and Tiubo. And that's much better. Oh, these rooms are so gross and dirty. Kazni, what you up to? Oh, we're getting some corn. Great. Only meals. Well, we're going to have to take over here. We're going to have to copy these settings, because we're running out of room, and paste, and now anything can go there. What I might end up having to do is I might have to delete some of these ones that I already have here. Go ahead and just set these as mined. Oh, it are, they already are. Oh, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. And everybody's asleep. Let's just... All right. Well, that was a more productive day than I thought it was going to be. We're a little stuttery because we're going times three and we're scrolling around at the almost the max zoom out game doesn't like that. I even went through and I installed an extra uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM into my rig just so that I could uh, stream for you guys or record for you guys and gals. We're all playing billiards. We're all relaxing. Oh, you know, no one has cook as one of their... Who has the highest cook skill? Two, three, four. So you are going to be my new cook. A new quest available. Selling to White Grassland. Let's go check it out. What do we got here? If we can bring 550 light leather, not that bad. Uh, we could choose for one of these three, Goodwill or Rada Joins. Psychically hypersensitive, Iron Willed. An interesting a combination. They kind of uh, cancel each other out. Chemical Interest, Unusual Interest. All right. Uh, melee, Construction, a little bit in Crafting here. Not a bad little, uh, not a bad little colonist. That's a possibility. Be our first human in our in our colony since we have four to Alex. Okay, so 
or I could do a tornado generator, a neurotrainer for mining, 63 hyperweave for a value. It would be doubling my value. I don't know, I could do I could accept either of those outcomes. Let's see where it is on the map. Ah, oh, that's right on a road. That is really good looking. What I might do. I'm gonna see which is closer. Either I'm going to come down here and trade here for some food, or I will go up here and trade here for some food when I'm done with with all my all the things I plan on doing. Newbie's gonna be my cook. Hopefully he'll eat something and then I'll go to work. Oh yeah. One thing that I should probably do is is cancel this anywhere thing. Because these animals, I keep forgetting, the animals are inside and my stockpile's inside. So I am going to expand area one. And this is going to be where these animals are allowed. All right, animals, area one, area one. All right, now they'll leave and they won't eat all my food that the actual colonists can eat. They'll just go and graze. Get up, dude. It's eight o'clock, sleeping in. If you're gonna do this, just do all of them. Leeks is a cleaning fiend up here. She's like, no, I want this nice this place looking nice. Alright, you really don't need to be doing that. But you know what you could do? Get this pool table back up to snuff. You've got a poor table and a poor table. Yes. But it'll make it look nicer, so. Alright, he's cooking some food. I really do want you to butcher some animals, though. We could use the meat. And Mega Sloth Hide works really well for making clothing. It has great op ability to stave off cold. And winter is coming. Brace yourselves. Um, okay, good. Good, good. All right, so you're going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to check on Kazni. We are ready to harvest over here. Now, we are actually getting to be a little bit too late for corn, I, th I would say. And yet, I think I'm going to go ahead and try and get them to plant another crop anyway. We have all these potatoes, so it's not like I'm running out. Where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you sewing over there? You are right next to this one. This one. How are we doing? Well, it's an awful table, but it's better than nothing. I actually think I've done just about everything that I can do here. So, unless you can do some more cooking, which you can. Yeah, let's just get you cooked. I can uninstall this. Because I'm going to need that when I get going home. And I think I can make two more sets of meals. Maybe I'll let them go to sleep for the night and then tomorrow, poof, they're off. Spoiling 3.9 days. See, that's not too terrible. 
she's getting some more blueberries going. I actually want to forbid those. And here I'm going to actually do it this way. I can go into details and I can choose which um, products I want to allow. And I am going to get rid of all vegetarian things because I don't want them to use the blueberries. I want them to save the blueberries for the voyage home. All right, can you do one more? Yeah, right on. Because they'll last longer than the rest of it. No, don't, don't do that. Uh, I want the wood instead. Okay, go to bed. Good night. Bye bye. Going to bed. Good night. Bye bye. Oh, he was cutting all these darn trees over here. Group of travelers coming by. I don't particularly care. I'm going to cancel all these so that he doesn't waste his time cutting trees. I don't need trees cut right this second. Is that all of them? Yeah, because I don't think I did any over there. I think everything was on this side. Boomalopes! Let's not train those, okay? Okay. Let's go 3x. Everybody's sleeping. All right. We're going to eat our food. See, which one spoil fast? It's 5.2, 5.1. Oh, because it's cold out, so it's technically considered refrigerated. See how cold out it is? Four, out, four degrees Celsius outside, seven inside. They're going to be a little bit angry that they slept in the cold. Slept on the ground. Cabin fever, been inside. All right, well, we're actually... We're good. Okay, so we're going to consume a simple meal. We're going to consume a simple meal. And it looks like I'm actually not going to need to go stop at one of those other places unless I want to sell something. So we will see what I can and can't do because we're going to leave right now. Let's reform caravan. We want all of our people. We're going to choose, though, everything that we want individually. Okay. That's 60 kilograms. I'd love to have that billiards table, but it's 60 kilograms, which is too heavy, and it's awful. I do think I'm going to take these stools, though. They're pretty light, 3 kilograms each, and I have a good one and an excellent one. I don't need the tables. Um, if I want to, I can take these the three production counters. Might be a good idea, just in case I do go and trade, which I think I'm going to do. But first, let's get the important stuff. So we need food. Food's first. Berries. Components are super worth worthwhile. You always take those first. Uh, we need the medicine. Those are light. Definitely need steel. And look, we're full. So I can't take the stove. I can't even take all the steel that I have here. Wow. All right, we're leaving the fur. We don't need this that badly. Uh, we do want uranium, though. Let's go through the other ones and see what we need. Can't take the sculpture. Normal, normal. Seven kilograms for that. Ah, that's worth it for me, because that's, that's a nice little price. Obviously take the neuro trainer, because that's the whole reason we, got, we came here. I don't need the wood. Do want the knife. I don't need the bows. We'll take the garb, the parka, the garb, the parka. And then I guess the rest that we're going to take is steel. Steel is super important. How much did that free up? Okay, so if I do that, let's try this, see what happens. So I can take 198 right now. If I take the statue. Oh, I've already taken the statue. What was it that I was going to take? The stools? I got the stools already. Oh, maybe it was the fur, right? 
that gets, brings it down to 186. I do want the light leather because that's part of that quest. If I decide I want to do that, I want to be able to have some ready to go. The television. I'll take the television. And I can take... I'll take those little sculpture. They're, at the very least, they're normal. They uh, give 50 beauty to a space, which is pretty darn good. And that brings me down to 158 steel. So if I got rid of these real quick, I could take another 40 steel. But uh, you know what? It is worth it to me. I want these in my place. Then I don't have to build them and use all the stuff myself. So 158 steel. That might even be less than I started with, which is a bummer. I just I need more pack animals, or I should have brought another person or something. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. So let's choose our route. How far is it, how long does it take to get down here? 3.2 days to get there. Okay. Takes 3.2 day two days to get there, but I will be a lot faster to get home. 5.4 days total. If I go here first and then here, 6.7 days. Now what if I do this? We'll do one more thing. It is 3.5 days to there, 5.4 to there. Um, I do want to trade though. I have some things I could get rid of. I think we're going to go here. That way, if we want to, we can swing up there if we can't trade it or if they don't want it or if they don't have anything we want. I can trade it here, and then we'll go home. We'll see. We'll see. Choose root. And... Yeah, I think we're all set. All right, back to Kazni. This guy's a trooper. He's been all alone for like a week. He might like it. He might be an introvert or something. Who knows? He's a crafter, servant, beautiful, nimble, careful shooter. And he's getting our food stores back up. And while he does that, I'm going to take a quick whistle wetter. I really don't want you doing this. <laughs> Come down here. Oh, I still have it forbidden. That's why. So, so this area, would you? Now he should go through and get all this. All nice and happy. Look at how efficient he is. And those planting skills are zooming up. Where are you going? The horseshoes. Keep keep going here. Man, I hate when I have to do this manually. I probably could go through and change the schedule settings. Oops. But I'm going to do it this way. We'll go straight across. And then we'll call that a day. We'll let him get some recreation in. If he finishes his recreation, maybe he'll come back. Missed a spot. Missed a spot. There we go. How are we doing? We didn't go anywhere. Oh, wait, we were up here somewhere, weren't we? Well, they're about to stop for the night. He's playing them horseshoes. 
And this might be a good part for us to stop at. We're going to bed. We're relaxing. We've done some good stuff today. We got a whole junk ton of stuff over here. Uh, we are making our way back. We're going to do some trading. We'll show you how to do that tomorrow. Uh, and then we will see what we can do with these. Once he's done with these farms. Oh, those potatoes are almost done. <laughs> I'm running out of room to store stuff. I might have him go ahead and start and, and do some more mining over here and start up on, on uh, building some more shelves so that we can store more things. I might also have to move my hay out. Maybe I'll do that now while I'm thinking about it. I'll start a stockpile here. I will have it clear all and we will set hay. Then I'm going to come over here and deselect hay and deselect hay in one of my shells so that I can copy the setting, choose all my shells, and paste the settings. Just double check that that worked. Storage, hay is deselected. All right, so the hauler bot will take some of that. That'll be good. And as this gets mined out a little bit more, I'll be able to expand the stockpile, but that's gonna free up a little bit of area in here that I can store more things in. And that's going to be good. That's going to do it for us tonight. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget, use that cotton bowl. Uh, smash those like and subscribe buttons. Ding that bell so you can get alerts for all my future content. Uh, check out the videos. I think you'll like them. At least YouTube's algorithms think you will. And leave a comment below telling me what you think I should have done better. Because I know that I made several, several mistakes here. Stay safe, everyone, and be well. Until next time, my Paulons, I'm Gamer, Gamer Pile.